Okay, so today I'm going to show you my second part of how to make a coin flip site series. So the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to open up Putty and FileZilla. We actually need to copy our IP first. We're going to copy that IP right here. Open up Putty and paste it in. Open. So we're going to log in as root with the password that we picked before. So now we're in there. And now we're going to paste our IP in there. The username is going to be root. The password you picked before, and then the port is going to be 22. First thing we're going to do is push these two dots right here. And we're going to go into var www. And we're going to create a new directory. And we're going to name it bot. So once we do that, we're going to open up our coin flip site files which are right here we're going to open the bot folder and drag all of these files oops let me open the bot folder here we take all these files and drop them in here they should just take a minute to upload and they're good to go so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up which one do we want to open Open this one. Oops. So what we're actually just going to do is we're going to edit it outside of here because I don't have something set up. So we're going to open it with this. And we're also going to... We don't really need this right now. But we're also going to open up this one. And now with this, we actually input some information about our bot, uh, information like that. So what we're actually going to start with is the username of the bot. So we're going to do this could be the username you used to log in, and then the password for the bot, the bot name. This is what the site's going to call your bot. Basically, someone's going to say bot one. We'll come back to these two for your admin IDs. How you're actually going to find this? is when you go to steam id.io this link will be down in the description and you're going to copy your id64 for your main steam account and you're going to paste that in right there if you have more admins you can do a comma the next the next admin so this is for the sql so localhost we're going to leave that we're going to leave root you're going to put in your password for your uh, digitalocean droplet here the database name is going to be CSGO. The API key, how you're going to find this, is you're going to go to your DigitalOcean, you're going to copy this IP, and then you're going to go to steamcommunity.com backslash dev backslash API key. That link will be actually be down in the description as well. You'll paste in the IP here, unless you have a domain, you can paste your domain in there. You're going to hit I agree, and you're going to hit register. And this is the key you're going to copy. So you're going to copy that. And you're going to go right here to API key and paste that in. You're going to leave this at uh, 730. That's basically just saying what game it is. CSGO is 730. Um, so accept random friend request. You could turn this to true if you'd like. I'm just going to leave it at false. Uh, the minimum deposit, you can set this to whatever. You can set it to like allow cases or you can just leave it to default. Uh, I would leave these two alone. So for the proxies, what we're actually going to do is go to any free proxy list. I'll leave this one down in the description so you guys can use it. You're going to copy the IP. And you're going to paste the IP in here. You're going to put in a colon. And you're going to copy the port. And paste that in there and you're done with that. So for identity and shared secret, you're going to have to use Steam Desktop Authenticator. I have a whole video on that. I'll link in the top of the description so you guys can check that out. How to get those identity secrets and shared secrets. So basically what you do is when you add your account to Steam Desktop Authenticator, you go to the MA Files folder, and it will have both of those in there. Make sure you have no encryption on it, and my video will show you how to complete how to do that. So when you get those two things put in there, and all the rest of this information, you're just going to save this. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to close out of this. And I don't think there's anything we have to do in here, so I'm going to close out of that. We're going to open up this. And we're going to go back to var www. We're going to HTML. 
the next thing we're actually going to do is we're going to find the assets folder. We'll do that. We're going to JS. And now we're actually going to be looking here is for app.js. All right. Uh, view edit this. So again, we have an error with this. But the one thing I didn't show you guys is if you edit, let me open it up over here. If you edit like the config.json outside of um, Putty, what you actually have to do is you have to drag the config.json in and replace it. You just have to hit OK. Most of you will be able to open it, but I don't have some installed, so I won't be able to. And we're going to go back to our HTML. Assets. And we're going to change our apps here. We're actually going to do it outside. Most of you guys will actually be doing this inside your FileZilla. We're going to open up our app. And the, what we're actually going to do is go down to... Right about... Right about here. No. Yeah, we'll go right here. Okay, we're actually going to do if... Uh, in. Do that. And hmm. Yeah, I think we can do this, and this should be alright. So like that. And you're just gonna push save. So that's the app folder. Drag it over here and we're gonna replace it. Okay. Now the next thing we're actually gonna do is go into putty. And I'll have these commands down in the description so you guys can paste them in. We're just gonna go into our bot folder. Like this. Then you're gonna do npmi. This will help install everything you need for your scripts to work. I need to install npm first, sorry. So first thing you need to do is install npm. Oh, sorry. Apps. Install. I typed that wrong. The first thing you have to do is install npm, and then you're going to do why this shouldn't take too long Again, I'm not going to cut anything, so you guys just watch this loading. Um, you guys can skip this, obviously. You don't want to watch it load, but... Now that's complete, we're going to paste in npmi and start installing the directories. There's a total of six that we need to install, so this is the first one.
I'm hoping to have this video under 15 minutes, but it doesn't look like it's gonna come out like that because I have to install this stuff and I'm not gonna cut that. Now we're gonna install it. Um, NPM install this. All these are gonna be NPM installs. Now we're gonna do MySQL. And again, you guys just paste these from the description to make your life a little bit easier. Socket.io. The last one we're going to do is Express. We're going to do npm install express. Now that that's done, we're actually going to go all the way out here and we're going to go back to our bot. In our uh, coinflip.js, we're actually going to reopen that. Bot, JS, open. And so what we're actually going to do is I'm going to to scroll way down, I think. It's, I think it's like line somewhere down here. Oh, you're right, right here. So anything that says var bot coin flip prices. So var bot coin flip prices, like right here. Or replace with this. So our bot coin flip prices. Our bot coin flip prices. And anything that says um, var WW coin flip prices, we're gonna change with this. So var WWW HTML prices. So, change that, and we'll hit save, close that out, drag that over here, take a minute to upload, hit OK. So now we're actually going to go to the PHP my admin, right here, this is the site, we're going to go to PHP, oops, IP dash my admin like this and password is password and the first thing we're actually going to do is go to CSGO uh, games structure and we're going to scroll down check all and change So the winner, or the ID we're going to leave uh, set as default to none, and what we're actually going to do is we're also going to leave, what else are we going to leave, we're going to leave winner as this and timer 11 as that. So everything after ID we're going to change to null, 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 null. 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 And you're just going to keep going down with the null. Oops. Until you get to winner. And once you get to winner, you're just going to leave that as defined negative one. You're gonna keep going null after that, and you're gonna leave timer 11 as defined zero. And for ended, we're actually gonna leave, put that as defined. We're gonna leave that as defined for zero. And I think that's all right. So we'll actually we'll actually select this. So we'll hit save. 
and for ended, we're gonna hit change on this real quick. And make sure. Good. Yeah, we'll be all right. Okay. So the next thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go to trades structure. I let's see. Do we need to check them all? Yeah, we'll check. We'll just do them all and change. And now we're going to put um, everything is null except for ID. ID we're obviously going to leave as none. And we're going to hit save. And now that we've actually done that, we can go to our putty. And to start the bot, you're going to do node JS. CF and you're just gonna hit enter and that will actually start a bot. I haven't actually entered a bot so it's probably just gonna be an error here. That will actually start the bot once the site is up. So if I delete this, at this point you'd be able to create a coin flip but obviously I have no bot currently in here so it's not gonna let me. So thank you guys for watching this is my second part to the how to make a trade uh, coin flip site series. And yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and my Steam group and my Steam is down in the description. So if you guys want to add me, that'd be awesome. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.